Hey everybody, I hope you are having a great day. Today, I might look a little different, look a little more um, bundled up. That's because um, we are supposed to get like an, a winter storm, ice storm, whatever here in Mississippi. It's the day before Valentine's Day. I'm not sure when you guys will see this. It might be, obviously it'll be later, but maybe be like... It might be a couple weeks from now because I have some videos coming out for y'all. But anyway, I wanted to carry you guys along with me today because I have to get the chicken coop ready for deep litter method. I bought some, the last cold snap we had, I bought like um, five more bags of litter. And I did it again yesterday so that today I could get them ready. I'm going to attempt to put um, a gorilla cart together. We'll see how that goes. And then, um, so it can help me pull all that stuff out there to the barn so I don't have to walk it all out there. But anyway, I'll take you guys along. Okay. Yes, I'm out of breath. It's because it's like freezing cold. And it hurts to breathe. I've carried five bags of litter, which is, yeah, I'm just out of shape. It is not that heavy. But I had to do it the long way all the way out to the barn from up here to the barn because we don't have the cart put together yet then I filled up um, two buckets of water and took that out there for them because I want to make sure they have plenty of water and food and all that so now I forgot to go get shower curtains. I was going to show you guys that. Clear shower curtains. Because we have that open air coop, we'll keep the wind off of them. But I forgot to go get them. And with Hadley having the crud, I don't want to get her back out. So, there is, there are a few things of Bisqueen around here that I'm going to see if I can kind of like piece together. Sorry. See if I can piece together and come up with something for that. Um... They'll be fine if not, but I like to overdo things, make sure they have a cozy place. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and get their food again, and then we'll go back out there and get started. Guys, this is what I've gotten. The two buckets of water, the five bags of this, and their feed, and here they all are, happy as clams. I'm going to put some more bedding in there, and then... We'll see what else. That tarp is keeping the wind out. And I'm going to put... This is junk. It's all usable junk. But we just threw it down here when they were coming to do the... Oh, uh, excuse me. Foundation. That Bisqueen is going to go up here. And there's some they left out there and there. And I'm going to get that junk up too. So, y'all can see actual real life around here. See how I'm hungry they are. Let me go feed them. The water this is the water it's upside down but you take this red part off and you just screw it back on and there's a handle and we hang it in there okay this one that black top unscrews and you just fill that white bucket with water there is a little thing on there where you have to it used to have a little screw cap on there but we had to make something else let me see see it that's where the water comes out but we had to make something else because we lost it so anyway, now i'll fill that one up clean it out a little bit fill it up and hang that one too this is what jake made to go in there he did it he did it himself it's just like a stick that he he whittled <laughs> to put it in there okay now you see the two waters they're full they're happy I have lots of food now i'm gonna freshen all this up Okay, y'all are fixing to see chickens like go everywhere. I'm gonna see if I can prop y'all up in here to where you can watch some of this. Okay, I got y'all sitting on a bag, so hopefully this will work. If not, I'll have to show you the after. But I cut the bags open and then I kind of just. Tell me why not. I just kind of throw them out. I'm 
sure there's easier ways to do this, but you know, why would you do it the easier way when you can do it my way, huh? chickens aren't in here but I don't have that option so this is what we're going with Calm down, chickens. <laughs> They're freaking out. I'm going to give them a minute. And I might leave this piled up, kind of, because... <laughs> because they'll scratch it and stuff. So, I'll show you guys after I'm done. Maybe we got it like this. We'll see. I'm not sure. <clears throat> they knocked the bag over and it freaked them out. Chickens are scary little creatures. So, and Jake is going to laugh at me for the hair I have on. But you know what? When I came in a minute ago, my ears were hurting. I was so cold. Like, they were on the inside, they were hurting. So. Huh. They freak out, I'm telling you. And if you don't have chickens, just always know my shavings. You're gonna get nasty whenever you are doing the chicken coop, so just know that it's gonna be gross and you're just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it. I'm gonna put some more bedding in their nesting boxes over there for them to have so they can be warm when they're doing eggs. Now that thing right there, if you can see it, you can't, right there. It's like a, a galvanized tin. They can get in there and it'll be warm for them. And they might, I don't know. But I'm gonna do that so when they lay, that's where they lay every day. So while they're laying, they can, have somewhere warm like that. Where's my other glove, girls? Oh, it's on the ground. Nice. nice. way to do all of this but as of right now this is what I got so this is how I do it now if you notice I'm putting all the shavings right around here 
is because the closer you get to the outside walls, they scratch it out and it's not in here anymore. So it's a waste of money and it's a waste of um, good bedding that they could have to keep them warm. They scratch it out. Because chickens aren't the smartest creatures on the face of the earth. I'm sure you can. Anybody can tell you that. But we love them. And we'll try to get these bags out of here without freaking them out. But I'm sure that's probably not going to happen. So y'all will get another show probably. Did you poop on my gloves? Seriously? Jeez, chickens. What do you do with them? Okay, I know. I look ridiculous, but it's cold and whatever. Now I'm going to um, try to get this stuff. Those gloves are so puffy that... I try to make sure Hadley's not up there calling me. They're so puffy that I can't get a good grip on things. Anyway. So, yes, everybody's in the house. Um, I told you guys before, we don't allow Diesel in the same room as Hadley without the, us there. We never have, just for precautions. And so, that's kind of what we do. He, so, she's in the back room. He's in the front room. That's just what happens. So, I'm sorry. I keep sniffing. This is just like, it's killing my nose. God, not, my nose is like running off my face. These were full of water, but we'll, we'll get it together. So, this is taking a lot longer, obviously, with, you know having to gather all this stuff than it normally would um and with having to try to film it it takes a lot longer you see snippets but then you're like i could go ahead and do this but now i need to and i probably need to film it first so there we go i'll see if i can go get another tarp and try that too okay y'all this is quite possibly the jankiest rigged up like wind cover I've ever seen on chicken coop and I haven't seen that many but I'm pretty I'm pretty pretty willing to bet like this is the worst but anyway you still want them to be able to have ventilation because you know if things are wet the, the air needs to circulate but it doesn't need to circulate enough to where they get chilled it's just enough so everything stays dry. So that's what I've done. I've covered some of the sides and we have, I mean, they're completely enclosed, but the sides on the inside of the barn, they're just chicken wire. So I stuffed those bags that um, we used for the, um, the bedding. I stuffed those bags on the bottom because I didn't have enough cover. And then I used some of the bisqueen that was left over from when they did the foundation and I just kind of did what I could do. So I'll show it to y'all. Okay, let me move back. That's the first one. Of course, I'm not as tall, even standing on stuff, but it will give them protection from enough. I might not even put this on here. I don't know. It's almost so embarrassing. And this... <laughs> Anyway, it will give them ventilation, but it will keep the wind off of them. And all that's covering all but that. So, as she's peeping out like, hey, what's going on? It'll keep the wind off of them and the ice and the rain. And that's all that we're... Because this is inside here. Because, see, it's a closed-in barn. But this, this wall is... Um, chicken wire so they'll still be warm and they'll still be fine and they'll bury themselves in that stuff bury themselves in that um bedding my gosh so they're doing great they're eating they're already scratching the stuff i'll show you that too okay. see i told you like i haven't done anything to this i've done nothing to it they get around and they just scratch it what here she is you see how she's doing it and see, all this is covered where I'm standing. I don't feel, it's actually kind of, 
My legs are freezing out there, but actually in here, it's okay. It's pretty nice. Well, for being outside. So, oh, hey, Dolly. I think that's Dolly. So, anyway, yeah. So, they're all nice and cozy in here. Their water's full. Look how much water they drink. But the other one's full. So, they have plenty of water. And they've had plenty of food today. They'll eat on that all day. And that's it, guys, for the chicken coop. Okay. So, yeah. I'm done with that for the day. And I'm hoping that I don't have to come back out here. Because I don't even know what time it is. But I know I'm hungry. I know Hadley's probably hungry. I got eggs in that bucket. It wasn't very many today. And I'm just ready to have... I wanted them to have a place to be warm so that it didn't shell shock them. I know that we're in Mississippi and it's ridiculous for a lot of you who watch this if you're not from here. This kind of weather is like a mild day for y'all and you have chickens that go out in the snow and stuff. And not, I'm not saying that they would freeze. I'm saying that what I'm doing is probably overkill, but my chickens are used to Mississippi weather. You get it? So... When, like, they've already canceled church services for tomorrow because of the icy roads and stuff. So, that's why I went ahead and prepared it. Jake is at work today. That's why he did not help me. He works long days and long hours. So, I didn't want him to have to come home at night when it's freezing cold and us go out there. It's just easier for me to do it. But right now, I'm going to go in and take a hot bath and get this chicken house in the mess off of me. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Um, if I don't come back on this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and y'all leave a comment and let us know what you would do or give me some ideas without going to the store. I just used what I had and tried to use it to the best I could. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.